time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Hello, Larry here. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens where I talk about fountain pens, inks, paper, notebooks, adult coloring books, crayons, packs of different kinds, belts, and just whatever products I think that you guys, the viewers, may be interested in. Ta-da! All right, today... I am going to give you my top 10 pins for April that are the mid-range pins. Remember I did one of the lower range so now we're going to do the mid-range. This is my list. This is my mid-range. Nobody else's. So, that's that. And the price range I'm doing it from, let's say, $25 to $50, give or take. In no particular order, I'm going to start off with the Clock Cochran Duragraph. Beautiful pen. Beautiful, just a beautiful pen in nice looking nib and it writes extremely well I think I picked up this pen for around I don't know 50 plus dollars nice pen love it and the next one will be the Faber Castell Loom one of my favorites and uh, this pen I picked up for, oh, I'm trying to think, and I'm going to guess, it's been a while, $40, $45. And this is a broad nib. And the pr first pen, the, the Conklin, was a medium nib. And they all come in different sizes nibs so like I said this is broad and these pins come in extra fine fine medium and broad and back to the Conklin they come in uh, extra fine fine medium and a 1.1 great pen like can lay down the ink sweet so my next one it's going to be the Lamy All Store. Good looking pen. Aluminum. Super nice pen. A great writer. Great looking pen. Fits great in the hands. All around, just a good pen. And uh, this one, I think I paid around 37 maybe. Don't hold me to that been a while and the uh, nibs on this one they come in extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 and a few other sizes then coming in next is the Lamy Vista another great pen the demo I like where you can see the ink inside it's got a cartridge in there right now and uh, this one runs about 29 bucks, And it comes in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, but like the other ones do. Same type of nibs. And uh, the next one is a cool one. It's going to be the Kuwaiko Classic. And here is a Kuwaiko Classic. We're just going to put that down blue 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 love blue and I'm just going to show you another color here's a maroon one nice 
nice, nice pen. They're also a good writer. And here's the uh, Ice Sport right here. Coeco Sport. Coeco Sport. Nice pen. Set those aside. And the Nemos pen coming down right here. Got the big old N on the clip. Metal pen. Hefty pen, but not too hefty. Feels great. Unscrew the cap. Got a nice nib on it. And I have an Anderson nib on this one. What's cool about the pen, you can change the nibs out if you want. And I love the Anderson nib and it performs very well. And the next one is that beautiful slim cross pen. This is one with the unscrew cap and screw to, to post it. Small nib, but also a really delightful writer. And I'm getting ahead of myself. The Cueco runs for about 25 bucks. The Nemos runs about 25, 30 bucks what I paid for it. The cross spin anywhere from $25, $35, depending where you get it, auction or just where you buy it. And then the Twisby 580, one of the older versions, not the newest one. Um, good looking color. They cost about 50 bucks. This was given to me by a friend of mine, Jason, the reviewer. Thank you, Jason. And, uh, the next one is a Noodler's Conrad. They run about $40. And Flex Nib. And Jason also sent me this one. Thank you, Jason. Got a great nib. I love it. And also back to the Twisby real quick. They come extra fine, fine, medium, and broad 1.1 stub nibs. Last but not least, the... Monteverde Impressa gunmetal. Beautiful, beautiful pen. I've had this for two years and I had no problems with the pen. There's no, no, uh, it's not flaking, the uh, paint's not coming off. You unscrew it, there's your converter. Pull off cap. There's you a beautiful Monteverde nib. Hear that pop? And uh, that one I paid about, I'm thinking around 40 bucks. And you know, Monteverde nibs. They come in various sizes. This is a medium nib in it. But uh, those are my top 10 mid-range pen that I like. Uh, they're, they're great pens. They're worth the money. They perform very well. And these are just mine that I like a lot. Well, that's going to conclude it. So I hope you enjoyed my mid-range top 10 pick for April. And then later I'm going to come out with a another level of pins. So, that's going to take care of this video. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Kevin's watching. Hit the like button as well, and don't forget to leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know some of your mid-range pins that you like, or that you don't like. Because just because they work well for me and I like them doesn't mean that that work well for you and you like them. We're different. Sometimes we both like the same type of pins. Sometimes we don't. But that's the world of fountain pins, is it not? 
But one thing we all do with thought and pins, we all unite together as one. And we share the love of fountain pens. No matter if it's a lower level, mid-range, or a higher, higher range, or the highest range, a fountain pen is a fountain pen. It's a pen made out of love. They all have their own personalities, just like we do. Enough said. Be safe, my friends. And if you can, and if you're able, I do now have the Patreon and PayPal going on. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your support. Be safe and don't text and drive. Bye.